Young, what's up, man? Who the heck is Canelo fighting next, man? Man, hey, um, you look at you. The who, who, who? out of your own mouth, Aki, now let me go. Now, hold on, hold hey, on. Who, who's Canelo fighting next? Hey, look at let me talk. Who is hey, Canelo fighting next? Your... Name me his name. If you know his yeah, name, you hey, won this debate. Like he, if you know his name, you won this debate. Who is Canelo Alvarez fighting next? If you know his name right now, you won the debate. Yeah, yeah. Who? Hey, now listen. Who's for, who's Canelo hey. fighting next? Listen, the words out of your own mouth, Aki, about talking about Stevenson, how people avoid him. Man, you got to put that same energy on Canelo. He the one Everyone avoided at 168, people. all the champions turned it down. Man. Smith, Plant, Billy Joe. Come on, keep that same energy, <laughs> Who right? Is Canelo fighting next, bro? And who, you who, didn't who, take me the guy. Hey, hey, answer the question. Who is Canelo fighting next? If you can name me the guy he about to fight next, whoever the WBC ordered. Name me this guy's name. Not the virus, man. Who is this guy's name? On him. Who is this Look guy? Who is this you guy? Can say, oh, oh, you can't blame him on the virus. Avoided. You gonna He's blame him on the virus? He's got to keep active. Tito, get what you said. Tito, you gonna you gonna blame him on the virus? Come on, man. Errol Spence is fighting Danny Garcia coming off a car accident, coming off the corona, right? You got Charlo fighting Rosario in a unification battle. You got the big Charlo fighting Dev Devryachenko, the same guy Canelo Alvarez avoided for the IBF strap when he was his mandatory. You have all these fighters that's fighting all these top names coming off layoff and the corona. And, and Canelo Alvarez is fighting this guy coming off a loss to the rail. And the fight before that, he fought a guy with 31 losses and three wins. So, Hello, who, is who is Canelo fighting next? Who is Canelo fighting next? Who is Canelo fighting next? fight if they don't want to fight, Aki? Benavides don't want to fight him, bro? You can't play Benavides don't want to fight him. Benavides just called him out. Yeah, hey. Oh, hold up. Benavides, Benavides don't want to fight him? He's not a champ no more. He's Benavides, champ no he, more. they could have fought, they, they fought for the vacant strap. They could have fought for the vacant shop. Who the hell is this guy that Canelo about to fight? Name me his name. That ain't up to Canelo. What's his name? Yes, that it is. To According Canelo. to the WBC, let me inform you on this. Because facts separate. You know, you could talk emotionally, but facts trump emotion. Canelo Alvarez, it was the WBC that came out today and reported that we did not order the fight. It was Canelo who requested it because he wanted it. So what do you say to that? Hey, well, what? What else are you gonna do, Aki? What do you fight? Everybody fight? Who you supposed to fight? Sure. Fight Andre? Don't Why you? He's still Aki. ducking Andre to this day. Why not fight Andre? Ducking Andre, man, tell that to Jacobs and Jacobs will laugh in your Andre, face. Andre, Andre, who that? Why are you talking Andre. about Jacob? Andre we talking about Andre. He avoided Andre at 160 for the unification bouts for undisputed matter of fact. He also avoided Andre back at 154. For the WBO strap, Canelo wasn't even a champion. Andrade offered him an opportunity, called him the B-word, called him Bota. I know you know what that means. He called him the B-word. Canelo said, hell no, turn on the fight. He didn't even pay attention to it. As soon as Andre he vacated that strap, guess who Canelo Alvarez fight next? Smith. He fought Smith for the WBO vacant strap. But he didn't have the cojones to fight Andre. So he actually ducked Andre on more than one occasion, and he's still ducking him to this day. So don't even bring Canelo up Andre. Without a crowd. Man. Who? Who? Who is Canelo going to fight next? He's fighting this unknown fighter coming off a loss. Man, I wish you would have been Plant, Smith, Billy Joe. Smith, Billy Joe still calling him out. 168, Billy we're Joe still calling him out. Billy Joe they still calling him out. Billy sure. Joe is a nobody no so damn way. Just like you said, you got to stay active with Shakur. Keep it with Canelo. I just said, Andre active. willing to fight him. Andre willing to fight him. Trollo willing to fight him. Benavidez willing to fight him. Caleb Plant just called him out. Canelo could have fought Andre. He could have fought at least Smith. A guy coming off a robbery, but it is what it is. He's still a champion. Billy Joe Saunders, he had at least a name, even though he just fought on a YouTube undercard and nearly lost the fight. I mean, you could have fought Andre, the fighter we want you to fight. You could have fought Charlo. You could have fought Benavides, your own people. But you choose to fight for Benavides strap, the vacant strap. So explain that to me, um, T-Tone. Hey, Aki, 
I just like, told you. Hey, I asked man, you question. can't hide from the box. Answer the question. Too. Who is Canelo next fight? Like, who is he fighting next? Hey, Give me the guy he fighting next. Who's this guy? Hey, next? What's his name? What's his name? Let's be fair now. I'm going to answer your question, and then you're going to answer a question for me, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Just like you said. Exactly. I'm going to answer your question. You said about Shakur, if they're dunking him, you got to stay Nobody active. ducking Canelo. Plant. Nobody ducking Canelo. Plant. Canelo, Plant. they're hunting him. Billy Joe. You're they're not, not dunking Canelo. You're not. No, no they're, they're not. No, they're not. The no, they're not. They know, they begging for the fight. How are they ducking him when they begging for the fight? Billy Joe Saunders begging for the fight. Kayla Smith begging for the fight. Andre begging for the fight. All the 175 champions begging for the fight. All the 168 champions begging for the fight. All the 160 pounders begging for the fight. So who the heck is ducking Canelo? Who the heck is ducking Canelo? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, what the heck are you talking about, T-Tone? Are you, I, I think you still concussed from the last time I knocked you out. You don't got your facts straight because you're talking emotionally, not logically. But facts trump opinions. Like I said, everybody got an opinion. Like, everybody got an asshole. So let's talk facts. Canelo Alvarez, he ducked Benavidez, claiming that he do not want to fight Mexicans. And that's a fact. Right? But he fought Angulo and Lopez. And now all of a sudden, he want to fight this guy. I don't know who his, who his name is. Ivan. That's his name. Ivan. Who coming off a loss for Benavidez strap at 168. But he won't fight Benavidez, though. Explain that to me. Aki, he wanted to fight a champion, but they don't want Benavidez to fight Benavidez is Aki. a champion. Benavidez you can't make a champion. Smith, Plant, and Billy Joe drag him in the ring and fight. So what's Canelo going to do, man? Billy, like who? you said, Billy Joe? But Shakur, wait, you got to talk about Billy active. Joe. He was, Billy Joe signed the contract to fight him. Billy We're Joe signed the contract to fight him. It was it was Rona who canceled the fight. Billy Joe actually signed the contract to fight him. What are you talking about? Uh, Billy Joe wanted to fight Canelo. He, he, he signed accepted the contract. The they already accepted it. The fight was on, but the Rona canceled it. So you keep talking about Billy Joe ducking. But he's not. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, man. Billy, no, no. You lost. I you that lost, ain't not what I heard. You lost that in the sauce. What are you? It don't matter what you heard. <laughs> I'm telling you the no, facts. No, it's the truth. It's I'm Billy telling you Joe the facts. Canelo, Billy Joe fighting Canelo. Is Billy it, Joe fighting Canelo? It was Rona Can't that canceled call. the fight. And then because hey, of what he did when up. he said he was going to smack women, that canceled the fight. So anyways, I'm going to ask you this question. You keep talking about Canelo has the best resume in the game, right? So is Sean Porter pound for pound number one because he willing to fight the best? He's actually fighting the best, and he has the best resume in the game, or, or at least one of the best resumes. So is Sean Porter one of the best in the game? Is he top three pound for pound? Yeah, hey, I, I I wouldn't say top three pound for pound, but Porter's got my respect. And no, the but why, but why, is Canelo top one? Right? why is Canelo pound for pound number one when he's ducking the best and he, you claim it, man, man, that Canelo has the best resume. Sean Porter got a better resume. Errol Spence got a better man, resume. And they, still, and they still willing to fight the best. Errol Spence fighting Danny Garcia next, coming off a car crash. And who the heck, uh, Canelo Alvarez fighting next? Ivan, who's coming off a loss. But you, Errol Spence, on the other hand, who's coming off a car accident, he don't want no tune-up. He said, let me get Danny Garcia. So what the hell are you going to say to that? What do you got to say to that? What, why is Canelo ducking the best and fighting Ivan instead? From all the names, you said last time you came on the show, you said that Canelo will fight a champion next. And now he's fighting Ivan. So explain to me. How is Canelo Alvarez move is justifiable in your eyes? You just talking. Let me uh, uh, answer, the my question. Turn? answer the question. I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you your, your, your turn. Yes. Like I said, you keep telling me that Canelo's going to fight a champion next. Now he's fighting Ivan, according to the WBC. They ordered the fight to take place, and it was requested by Canelo. So you said, according to your own words, last show, you called in saying that Canelo will be fighting a champion next. Now he's fighting. Ivan, who's coming off a loss. So are you going to acknowledge that Canelo don't have the cojones to fight the best in destroying his own legacy? I can't. Is it my turn now? No shit. Duh, it's your turn, man. Are you, are yeah, you okay? You just are you okay? Are yeah, you okay, you're sure. Are I you okay? You're sure. All right, now Answer let's go. Answer the question. Go. Answer the question. Right here. Answer the question. Go All ahead. right. Canelo at 168. Plant, Smith, 
Billy Joe, they did they turned it down. And you still deflecting, man. Hey, yeah. Tito, I gotta it's let you like go, you bro. Said. You ain't trying to debate peace, peace brother. <laughs> like I said, my man, hey, at the end of the day, or at least the night, the truth separate. So I asked this man a simple question. This man, he acting like me no speak no English. Stop acting like I'm not speaking any English to you, T-Tone. I asked you a simple question. You said he was going to fight a champion next. And what's happening? He's fighting another cherry pick. Another cherry pick. But I guess these Canelo fans got nothing to say anymore. They want to lie instead. They want to deflect instead. He keep talking about these guys that's willing to fight him that we don't even care about. We want him to fight Andre, who doesn't have an opponent yet. We want him to fight Trollo. We want him to fight Benavidez. We want him to fight the best at, around every division he campaign at. But that's not what Canelo Alvarez is willing to do. And his fans, like I said, they rather deflect, they rather lie when we tell them the truth right in front of their face. This is the same man that said Canelo's going to fight a champion next. Canelo slapped T-Tone right on his face. Hey, T-Tone, Canelo pimp slapped you. Because you thought he was going to fight a champion next? <laughs> Canelo was like, man, you thought, T-Tone. Man, I'm about to cherry pick a guy coming off a loss, and his name is Ivan. Nobody know him. So Canelo still stuck hey, into this hey, day. Hey. And to all the decaps no, no, no. that don't know <laughs> shit about, you already know how our key comes. I come with the decaf script tonight, the truth. So that's why they're afraid to call in. But as soon as the live is over, they in the comment section making excuses. But these same guys will be watching me live, but won't call in. So you don't know for the people shit. that don't know <laughs> shit about boxing, you quit better talking not duck me, and call in. You that's all, all I got to say. Me, Split decision episode 50 is over with. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smart about them. And if you're trying to get dumb about a second. Don't and listen to these decaps, the dumb casual ass fans that don't know shit about boxing. Word to Roger Mayweather, may he rest in peace. Subscribe and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post on Split Decision. Split Decision is a boxing debate slash talk show mixed, master, engineered, produced by yours truly, Aki, the past, present, and future pound for pound when it comes to debating. I got these decaf shook. They're scared to look when our keys on TV. Even my own our keys could get it. Quit treating me. Quit treating our key like the Iron Mike of debate and the most feared. All these decafs, as soon as the live is over, they in the comment section being keyboard warriors. And the whole time I was on live, all these decafs had no cojones. They were scared to call in. Our key got him shook. They're scared to look. Every time our key's on TV, but it anybody can get it. Our key record stand at what around 700 debates with 700 KOs. It ain't no split decision. Ain't nobody saved by the bell. Like I said, it's a straight KO. I won't let the decafs be the judge. I'm not gonna get robbed like Lara got robbed versus Canelo, like Morenes got robbed versus Roly, like all these fighters that got robbed in the sport of boxing. I'm gonna get a KO every single time. I go straight for the KO on some Iron Mike. So with 700 KOs, a decaf ain't did a damn thing about it. But we already know what time it is to H Money, T-Tone, and all the above. If I had a lower IQ, I could have enjoyed y'all the base, but I got a higher IQ. So if any of you decafs slash YouTube trolls slash old media, if any of you dream about Putting an L on my record, you better wake up and apologize on Split Decision Live. My man OG, OG Swag, he says 700 and O. <laughs> RJ, my man said 4,000 and O. <laughs> you already know. I mean, I'm knocking out every single decaf like more than once. Every single decaf, I'm giving them all these rematches, knocking them out with every topic they got in mind. Professor Stevie Wonder, I did knock them out on split decision till the man quit. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Like I said, you got to have credibility to be on my record. But I gave the decaps the opportunity to, since nobody got the cojones to debate our key, I come with facts because facts trump opinion. When the truth is spoken, the other side is nothing but a lie. <laughs> like I said, OG, you already know what time it is.
With that being stated, I'm gonna go ahead and take you okay. all out. Hold it, you're not that pretty. I'm a right. mad man. Wait, wait, wait. I took up the world. I took up the world. Hold it. Uh, yo, I took up the world. Hold it. Uh, yo, I took up the world. Bear witness, there's only one God, Allah, and Muhammad is his final messenger. That's why I said, Larry, on the Bungu fight, thanking you. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man, because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it.